So now we read about cell. Cell and now what did I tell about cell? It's a basic fundamental structural unit of any organism. So who actually found basic fundamental structural unit of any organism? So who actually found? How did he find out? He found he took small thin layers of cork pieces and then just observed under the microscope. He found that they were like that. That is a basic unit, fundamental unit of any organism. So Robert Hooke gave the name cell for that. What he has found out this. Anton van Leeuwenhoek. He was the person who found out this microscope. If we are in the cell, all the nerve can't pick up. You have to see only Robert Brown. He was the person who found out the nucleus. Our the can't be sure. Na cell ko la nucleus irke. So Robert Brown gave the name nucleus. Plasm. The liquid present around the nucleus is called protoplasm. So these are four scientists who gave the main basis for cells. Cells. Now next we'll be going about difference between. Plant cell and animal cell. What is the difference between plant cell and animal cell? Plant cell. So you can see the outer cell wall. Then you have the cell wall. Then plasma membrane and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Here you have the mitochondria. Then you have ribosomes. The big empty vacuole. And then you have the cytoplasm liquid and it's for photosynthesis. Then you have Golgi apparatus. Then you have amyloplast, and you have the rough endoplasmic reticulum is present. So nucleus is outer, inner one is nucleolus, and you have the empty vacuole present in plant cell. Next we'll go up. Think, but what is happening? It is smaller in size than the plant cells. So animal cells are smaller in size than the plant cells. In animal plants, you have the both uh, organs present are what? Again, you have smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Then you have cytoplasm. Then what about that vacuole present in plant? If it is present, it's very small in size. Then you have the nucleus and the nucleolus both, and mitochondria is present. And then you have the Golgi apparatus, very much present. Only in certain very uh, unicellular plants, you have the lysosomes. But here in animal cells, the lysosomes are present. There is no vacuole, or the vacuoles are very much smaller in size in animal cells. So this is the difference between plant cell and animal cell. We read about and parts is what cell membrane and cell wall and then cytoplasm. So we'll be reading about what is cell membrane, what is cytoplasm, what a thin permeable membrane. It is covering all the cell organelles. It's protecting all the cell. It's like a boundary for all the cell organelles. So it's there, and it also protects the cell from all the injury. Now, what is the function of this cell? It is called say, selectively permeable cell. That is, and it selects only certain substance, not all the substance. So it's called as semi-permeable membrane. Then it also what gives protection in within the cell as well as up to the adjacent cells. Then it also gives organic connection between the other two cells. A membrane or plasma lamella. Cell membrane, other name is plasma membrane as well as plasma lamella. Next we'll go to the cell wall. You know, it contains three layers. One is middle lamella. Primary cell and the secondary cell. The middle lamella is thin amorphous. Very pori poriya holes nariya rukhate. That is called thin amorphous layer. Then the primary cell is the first cell wall in the cell. Secondary cell. It is inner to the primary cell. Now, what is the function of the cell wall? It is rigid, thick. So, what my main function is what? It forms a protective layer. It protects the cell protoplasm from any Injury. Then it allows the transmission of energy, all the information. So the so main cell wall gives a shape to the cell. And I already told that it is present only in plant cell, not in animal cell. It is made up of only nothing but jelly-like, homogeneous, and translucent substance. It is nothing but jelly-like, homogeneous, and translucent fluid. You know what is translucent substance? It allows light fully to pass through it. Then what is opaque substance which will not allow light to pass through it? Like substance. So what is cytoplasm? It, is, it contains all the cell organs present in it. And it is always moving along with the cell organs with a dynamic streaming. It is called as cytoplasmic streaming. The movement of cytoplasm along within all the organs is called as cytoplasm. What is the function of this cytoplasm? It is a main seed for metabolic activity. It is the main seed for all metabolism. That is the main function called ectoplasm and this is endoplasm. Now, what is ectoplasm? It is the cytoplasm present within the plasma membrane, that plasm. Then what is endoplasm? And the plasma membrane, the nuclear membrane, the endoplasm. So it is present to what? Immediately after the plasma membrane. You know that in the case of the plasma membrane, the cell wall is present the cell wall. So the plasma membrane is present ectoplasm. Then the cytoplasm is present between the ectoplasm and the nuclear membrane. You know the cell contains, this is, this is cell wall. 
this is plasma membrane this is nucleus this is called nuclear membrane so this layer of liquid immediately near the plasma membrane this is called ectoplasm and this nuclear membrane this is called as endoplasm so you can understand now what is ectoplasm and what is endoplasm as protoplasm so this is the functions of cytoplasm so we read about the main three parts of the cell next we'll go to the